Why, hello there, everyone. What is this, you ask? Well, I'm so glad you are inquiring because, in fact, this is the Flipper Zero. Therefore, we must get it open. We must get it open. Ta-da! Behold! So, cast your eyes upon this and look at this nice, sleek little box. It comes in and the uh, Flipper Zero is basically a Swiss Army knife of uh, RFID and radio protocol. Uh, it's absolutely a threat actor's dream come true um, because of its ability to bypass access control systems. It says, feels good, man. And let me tell you something, that's kind of ironic because I paid $240 on Amazon, so yes, it feels good. All right, <laughs> anyways, hey, look at that. What is that? Ooh, it's a sticker. Flip the world. Now you can stick it on your forehead and tell everyone that you were the proud owner of a flipper. All right, that sounded weird. Um, <laughs> here is um, a quick start manual. Well, guys don't need instructions. <clears throat> yeah, that was sexist. Um, so, sorry, I'm just easily distracted. Here's a type C charging cable. This is perfect. So basically this is used for data transfer and charging the device itself. So um, it's also how you interface this with, let's say, a, a phone or a computer to perform, you know, bad USB attacks. Boop. And here it is. Behold. Ooh, there it is. It is so heavy. It's got a little heft to it. Um, um, basically, this tells you that it was expensive. And it was. So here we have a micro SD card slot, which is perfect. So you can load your scripts onto it from GitHub or wherever you get it from um, and just launch them from the device. Here we have also a wrist strap hole. And if you want to make a fashion statement in the hacker world, which is ironically what we do, um, <laughs> um, uh, you want to hang this from your wrist, or from your neck, or from wherever. <laughs> um, USB Type-C uh, port, this is where you charge it using that. Um, and what's so beautiful about this is that it these are GPIO pins. And in other words, looking at this means that this, is, this device is not in its final stage. Um, it can evolve, and doing so, you would add a dev kit. Uh, or a dev board right here in order to increase its functionality, which is exactly what hackers want. Um, and here is the infrared transceiver. So, if anything in the world at any time ever since, you know, the, the, the hacker subculture had its start, ever screamed to hack the planet, yeah, you're looking at it. It's this thing right here. All right, so let's get started. Let us peel that off. One, two, three. Need an SD card, it says. So let's put in an SD card. Here we go. Okay. Here's your little nail in there. Here we go. Here we go, and we will hit this button as it indicates right over here. Son of a bitch. So, in a bizarre twist of fate, it turns out you have to read the instructions. The first step is to insert a micro SD card. All right, this is the second part. Updating the firmware, you have to do this. Um, to update the firmware, you connect your device to your computer via the USB cable and go to HTTPS colon backslash backslash update dot flipper zero dot one. Now, after going to the website, you'll see that you can download, um, the desktop application for whatever operating system that you're using. However, the, there is another way. And the other way is simply to download the app from the Google or iOS Play Store and update via the mobile app.
Well, I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but I think it's time to experiment with this devious device. All right, let's give this thing a test run. Now, one of the things that should really disturb and completely alarm the cybersecurity industry is just how autonomous this device is and how user-friendly it is, in so much that even a child could figure this out. So, if we go to infrared and select that, it has a bunch of universal remote presets ready to go. And watch this. And there you have it. In the event that a billion hours of Call of Duty is not enough for you, you could go to an arcade. And here is an arcade card of mine, uh, which is still active, by the way. And since it uses NFC, which stands for Near Field Communication, you would scroll down to NFC and read. Did you see how fast that was? Nothing to it. And you can save it. And then what you could do is go up to a reader and emulate it. And there you have it. My work badge. This uses RFID. Boom, just like that. But ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get serious. Don't be a fucking asshole. Please hack responsibly.